Okay, I'll give you some idea of how to do number two, and maybe that will point you how to do the others. Uh, what we have going on here is an interval along the x-axis from 9 to 9 plus h, where h is eventually going to become very small. But we want to find the average rate of change as the function, whatever it looks like, moves from here to here. And that really is the slope of this secant line right here. This y value means put 9 into the function, which will give us 1 13th. So this point right here is the point 9, comma, 1 13th, which I've listed right here. This point has an x coordinate of 9 plus h. So if I put 9 plus h into this function definition for t, I get 1 over, well, the y coordinate is, the x coordinate is still 9 plus h. And the y coordinate is this guy right here 1 over 9 plus h plus 4, or 1 over 13 plus h. The average rate of change means the change in y over the change in x. For every change in x, how much is the y value changing? And that really is the slope of the line connecting these two points. So if we use the slope formula, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1, I could say, well, here's the change in y. This y coordinate minus this y coordinate. 1 over 13 plus h minus 1 13th, all over the change in x, which is 9 plus h minus 9, or just h. Now, to simplify this, uh, I can multiply numerator and denominator of the big fraction by the common denominator of the little denominators. So 13 times 13 plus h is the LCD. When I take that times this term, the 13 plus h's cancel out, and I just get this 13 minus the 13 cancels out, and I get minus the quantity 13 plus h. Uh, in the denominator, I get this h times this LCD. Uh, in the numerator, I get minus h over 13h times the quantity 13 plus h, and I got one more step, and that's to cancel out these h's. So in the end, I get minus 1 over 13 times 13 plus h. And you're going to find out that when we talk about, we call this thing a difference quotient. And as we take the limit of this difference quotient as h approaches 0, we have, well, a formula for the slope of a tangent line to the graph of the original function. Right now, you're just setting up the average rate of change which is same as saying find the slope with the secant line, which this is a typical secant line right here, where h is this real small 0.4. So I've gone from 9 to 9.4, and then I've substituted those values into the function to get the corresponding y values. And uh, the slope of that line would be change in y over change in x, the average rate of change. There you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, uh, post a comment. I will also post the URL to this Desmos graph so you can take a look. Mm -hmm.